Welcome to another one of my math riddles. My name is Chris Sieber, and I'm the creator of all the videos here at Math Meeting. And my goal for this channel is to help you guys as much as possible by creating as many videos as possible. I make videos in calculus, algebra, and I even make fun math riddles like this one. And here we have a fun algebra problem that has a trinomial in the base. So we have x squared minus 5x plus 5 with a trinomial as an exponent. And all of this is equal to 1. And we need to solve for x in this problem. And I thought this was a really cool problem because you only need a very basic understanding of algebra uh, to solve it. Uh, but it's quite hard to find all of the solutions to this problem. I did not find all the solutions myself. But I hope you enjoy it and I hope you can solve it. And I will show you the solution in five seconds. All right, so I'm going to break the solution down into three parts. And for each part, I'm going to show you a different algebra rule. And part one uses the rule that if any number raised to an exponent of 0 is always going to be equal to 1. As long as this number a is not 0, if the exponent is equal to 0, we know that this entire value is going to be equal to 1. So if we set this exponent equal to 0, it's going to be equal to 1 and make the equation true. So let's do that right now. I'm going to set our exponent of x squared minus 11x plus 30 equal to 0. And if we solve for x, um, we could do this very easily by factoring. Uh, if we can factor this to x minus 5 multiplied times x minus 6, and then we get two solutions, x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 6. So these two solutions make our exponent equal to 0, and they don't make our base equal to 0. So this certainly makes our equation true. So these are two of our solutions. We have x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 6. All right, so now let's move on to part 2 of our solution. So the algebra rule that we're going to use in part 2 of our solution is the number 1 raised to any exponent is always going to be equal to 1. All right? So if we make our base equal to 1, it doesn't matter what the exponent is equal. It'll make our equation equal to 1, and it'll make our equation true. All right? So let's set our base of x squared minus 5x plus 5. If we set this equal to 1, it's going to make our equation true. And we can solve this uh, again by factoring. But before I factor, I want to subtract 1 from both sides. And if I do that, we have x squared minus 5x. Um, 1 subtracted from 5 um, is equal to 4. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have a 0. And if we factor the left-hand side of this equation, we get x minus 1 and x minus 4. And the right-hand side stays the same. And we're going to have two more solutions. If we solve for x, we get x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. All right, so let's add these two solutions to our list. We have x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. And now we can move on to part 3 of our solution. All right, so in part 3 of our solution, we're going to use the algebra rule that if negative 1 raised to any power that is even, is going to be equal to 1. And we got, it's important to emphasize that a must be even uh, for this rule to be true. All right, negative 1 to any even power is going to be equal to 1. So we're going to set this base equal to negative 1, and we're going to make sure that when we solve that, that our exponent is going to be even. So I'm going to set our base of x squared minus 5x plus 5 equal to negative 1. And once again, we're going to factor to solve this. But before I factor, I'm going to add 1 to both sides. So we're going to have x squared minus 5x. If you add 1 to plus 5, we have plus 6. And on the right-hand side, we're going to have 0. Now, if we factor the left-hand side of this equation, we have x minus 2 multiplied times x minus 3. And this is equal to 0. And if we solve for x, we have two solutions. We have x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 3. OK, so these two solutions make this base equal to negative 1. But we've got to make sure that our exponent 
is even. And if we plug 2 or 3 in for x into our exponent, we're going to get two even numbers. So these solutions are indeed valid. And you can take my word for it, or you can check it on your own. But they do make the exponent even, so our solutions are valid. And so we can add them to our list of, of four solutions. So now we're going to have six total solutions. x is equal to 2, and x is equal to 3. So if we list all of our solutions in ascending order, we have x is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I hope you enjoyed this problem. If you want to keep on trying all of my math riddles, check out my next video. Uh, the link is in the screen. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see all my new videos, and I will see you in my next one.